Hello all my future dental assistants. This is Miss Denise Meyer. I'm your evening instructor. We're going to go over um, a little bit of chapter 18. It's called Basic Chair Side Instruments and Tray Systems. You can get your green book out and go to that chapter, chapter 18. And pause this video so that you can get to it and follow along a little bit. The first thing we're going to be talking about is non-cutting instruments. Um, we're going to start out with basic examination instruments. You have your mouth mirrors, which of course, you can so you can see every tooth in the mouth with the mirror. Explorers, which checks the teeth for cavities. Cotton pliers, so that you can put some cotton rolls to um, help with the moisture in the mouth. And periodontal probes. Periodontal probes check for pockets in the teeth. Um, to see if the patient needs any uh, any um, periodontal treatment. So next we're going to talk about um, here's some more non-cutting instruments. We have the plastic filling instruments which is for placing and condensing restorative materials. We have the composite instrument. It is for placing, condensing, carving, and contouring and burnishing. So you have your, um, your uh, composites, which is the tooth colored filling. Then you have your amalgam, which is the silver filling. More dentists are doing um, or placing the composite fillings now. Um, if you are doing uh, an amalgam, you have your amalgam carrier. Some of you have learned about this already, which carries and dispenses the amalgam. Then you have the condenser which packs it into the cavity prep of the tooth. If you can see, if you look at the um, condenser, it's flat on uh, one side and there's different sizes. You also have your carver. So whenever you condense the amalgam into the, f the um, cavity prep, the carver remove is, removes the excess restorative material. Um, it's also used to carve wax inlays and onlays. You have your burnishers. Um, we, some of you have already seen these too. You have your football burnisher, the lower left. Um, you have a, a round, more rounded burnisher. And we have some other instruments called files, which trims filling material. Then you have a finishing knife. It trims excess material. You have your miscellaneous, which is spatulas. Some of you have used that already to mix cements. Articulating forceps and scissors. The articulating forceps uh, hold the articulating uh, paper to check uh, the height of the filling. And scissors, we all know what scissors are. Um, so, you know, you have your care and maintenance. You want to make sure you extend the lifespan of instruments. Um, and that'll help maintain them and extend the life of them. You want to properly clean and sterilize them. And you also want to examine them all of the time. Make sure after every procedure you, you check to make sure there's no uh, material on there that needs to be cleaned off because you don't want to give your, your doctor an instrument that still has residue from the previous um, uh, appointment. All right, everyone, I hope you've learned a little bit from this PowerPoint, and I'll see you in class. Thank you. Bye-bye.